think opinion could be the last one in. Blue Surf a bit restless in the gates. They're ready to go, I think, if he gets in okay, opinion. Stalls handlers out of the way. They're set and they're racing. They're off on opinions, refused to race virtually. Stalls opened and he just stood there and gave away many, many lengths. Gave away at least eight lengths then, the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes winner. So they're racing for the Betford Ebor handicap of 2013 and Highland Castle in the yellow jacket moves across from his outside draw for Liam Keneary and takes them through the first furlong and a half. Settling in second place Bishop Rocco with third number theory in the red jacket. Oriental Fox and Blue Surf racing behind these in fourth and fifth. Gen Z in sixth spot. Followed by Sapta Pardi in the orange colours next of Hanoverian Baron. They're already pretty well strung out. Tiger Cliff held on to there with Caravan rolls on on his inside. Then a break of a length and a half to guarantee opinion has passed Ted Veal. And last of all is Sheikh Zayed Road, who's probably a good 15 lengths behind the leader, Highland Castle, as they make their way now inside the final mile and a quarter here. So out in front, it's Highland Castle and Liam Canary setting what looks a pretty decent pace here. Leads by two lengths to number theory in Seb Sanders. Followed by Bishop Rocco in the striped jacket for Martin Harley. Blue Surf in the black, Paul Moran just tracking with Oriental Fox in the blue and white spots. And then Gen Z in the green cap. Hanoverian Baron is next. Followed by Sapta Party, Tiger Cliff, and then Caravan rolls on. Guarantee an opinion. The two high clear runners racing almost together. And Ted Veal and Sheikh Zayed Road bring up the rear then as they go towards the final seven furlongs. Approaching the halfway point then in the Betfred Ebor of 2013. And Highland Castle still making it. The gap between him and number theory is about uh, a length and a half or so as they continue down the side of the track. Third then is Bishop Rocco. Blue Surf and then Oriental Fox. Gen Z continue to sit in sixth place with Hanoverian Baron. Sapta Party restrained then. Tiger Cliff now making a little bit of a move on the outside. They're starting to take the turn which brings them down the side of the course. Caravan rolls on, guarantee and opinion. Still got quite a bit of work on, as indeed has Sheikh Zayed Road, who's still plum last, two lengths behind the main group as they make their way down towards the home straight now. Ted Veal's only got one behind him, the Irish Raider. Coming down the home straight in the e ball, coming down the centre of the course, and it's still Highland Castle pressing on for Liam Canary. From number theory in second place, Blue Surf is next, and then Bishop Rocco going pretty well, Oriental Fox, Gen Z poised, Tiger Cliff getting close in the white jacket all the time. On the wide outside then is Sapta Party, Caravan rolls on, he's getting into it too, driven behind his opinion, Shape Zayed Road attacking down the middle, he's got to pick up though, Guarantee's got a lot of running in him, but he's got no room, they're coming down towards the final two furlongs here, and on the near side it's number theory in Seb Sanders, Gen Z on the outside, Richard Kingscote though, looks a big danger, Tiger Cliff is finishing off strongly on the near side and Genty strikes the front inside the final furlong from number theory Tiger Cliff there in the middle box Genty Tiger Cliff lunging late on the near side Genty needs a line Tiger Cliff got up there in the Avon for Lady Sassler Tom Bailey Genty second number theory third then Ted Bailey stayed on and the Oriental Fox is back in fifth